Hello people there from the Tyson Dome, so just bear with me for two minutes and please just uh, listen to me for two minutes. So first of all, um, Comfy Lift in County Monaghan has a great machine and they made a great fat delay to another words. And that's the word to use. Um, to basically instead of you know being used for one, it can be used for two. And it's a brilliant invention and I really commend Comfy Lift for the hard work. Because it can, it can do two. It can, it can, it can do two people. What it can ventilate two people. What, which is great. Like honest to God, it's great because you know you could do it for like it's, it reduces the cost of the you know reduces the cost of getting one only ventilator. And it could be used for two people, which is going to save a lot of lives if it's implemented. Um, and it's great. I'm so delighted to see it. Um, because I think it's an amazing idea. And it just goes to show you that we have some great minds in these in this car in Monaghan and in around Ireland, and we have some great minds that have good knowledge and you know I really commend everybody in, in Comfy Lift. So second of all, and this is really too um what we've been saying in the Calvin County Council we had a meeting at half six was on um you know it was on ten of it what would you call it um conference on the phone whatever you would call it a video call it, in other words probably. Um so first of all um I said and I said it early on today too I sent a few emails out that we should open at least as to ask the government to open gyms and leisure sectors and, and bear with me when i say this bear with me because i i raised the point and i said it that we're driving people mad and locking them up we can't lock people up forever um and a lot of the county councils did agree with and um, they did agree that we can't keep people locked up in the houses forever um and you know open the gym like even open the gym and having a few people like three or four people in it um at one given time to have an hour in the gym or you know, at most two hours, and um, they keep their distance and obviously all the rest of that. Um, you know, there's no harm. There wouldn't be any harm. Um, and obviously have a uh, have a schedule. And obviously have a schedule and say who could come in uh, at this time and somebody can come in at that time. You know, have a schedule. Um, and the same with the Calvin swimming pool complex. Um, you know, for swimming, Pe they get people active because every everybody knows when you get exercise, the mind there's something in the mind that helps you with your your mental health. Um, and it's just about keeping people active and not letting people, you know, fall down into the slum, um, as I call it. Because, you know, people sitting at home, you know, is not helping, looking at the wall is not helping. Um, it's, you know, it's time to get people out and about and, you know, do, you know, get them um, mind healthier. Because, you know, it is, the coronavirus is still out there. And I will not say it's not out there, because it's still out there. But, um... You know, we can't be locked up forever. And so that. They can't, you can't lock people up forever. Because it's the psychological, and we said this, it's the psychological impact, too, um, of it. And I'm sure people agree with me. This is, people go mad in the houses. And, you know, it's not, it's not you know, it's, you know, we need to do something. And, that, and that's my idea. We have to open gyms and we have to open leisure centers. And, um, you know, even even have five or six people at a time and have a water going. And this person comes in this time, that person comes in that time. You know, it'd be an effort. It'd be an effort and be, it might help a few people. And it would probably help a few people. Um, so anyway, on to the cases. So it looks very promising. And we got, went over this too. It looks extremely promising. But we we, de we said that before. And I said it before. Because uh, we thought, you know, we had nipped it in the butt. When there was only two cases back a week ago. Um, on one day, we were like, it's gone. It's, it won't come back. We haven't dealt with it. And, you know, we proved ourselves wrong, and we proved ourselves very wrong. Because um, there's seven new cases in Calvin, which isn't, is it, it's very good compared to the other numbers. Um, and it just goes to show that there is work in what we're doing. Um, but at the same time, we want to get things back to normal. Um, because we don't want people to, you know, be depressed or anything like that. We don't want people, we, we dread seeing people do it like that. Um, and, you know, many county councils in Calvin, you might not take this, and, I, and the same model too. Um, and I would say people who are in Calvin Mon, you you have very good authority. Um, your county councils have very good authority, and they're taking of you. Um, because that's our maker zone at the moment. We're taking our people. We're not caring about profit. Um, we're taking off you. We're taking off your family. Um, as I said about the mental health aspect, we're taking of that. We're taking off people's health. We're taking off people's health. We're not caring about. You know, if we have to bike up to our county, then so be it. But um, we're more worried about people's health. Super sad. We're more worried about that. Um, so the total cabin 634 cases. Which is still a lot, but 200 have recovered, which is great. I don't have the exact number, it's over 200 anyway. Um, I don't have the figures from all and like, what the recovery rate. But there's three extra cases in Monaghan, bringing the total up to 388. Um, now these cases, um, 
It was very quick. It, like there's tests still going on in Cavan, as people may know, and the same in Monaghan. And um, they're coming back very rapidly. They're coming back in forty eight hours, even in twenty four hours in some cases, which goes to show you that we can deal with it rapidly, um, and we can, you know, find the source of the problem, um, and um, you know, we're we're happy to say that you know. We thought it'd be a lot worse. We did. We have to say that. I I, I said to myself, that it would be a lot worse. But thankfully, you know. We're seeing you know we're seeing improvements, um. But hopefully, I don't live to regret what I just said there, um. But yeah, it just it looks it's positive. It's kind of very positive news today, which is great, um. But I'm hoping that the government will take it on board our proposals because I was Leisure said to ship the first thing, um. They take people's mind off what's happening, um. Even if it's for an hour, just being in the gym, you know, you're pulling, uh, pushing up weights or doing whatever you do in the gym on treadmills or whatever, um. It will take people's mind off for an hour. You know, a bit of exercise, you know, does the world of good, um. And I and I say to people, you know, there was a man rested for fishing yesterday, and Jesus Christ, rested for fishing. Never seen such crack in my life. I'm saying to people, don't be intimidated by the gals. Um, if they are intimidated, if there's some gals that are good and then there's some, it's the same with everything. Um, I'm saying to people, you know, go out for your walk, go out for your one. The fuck with the gals if they stop you. Um, if you're out for your walk and you one, you know, you're perfectly entitled. And I say this as a person in the local authorities, you're perfectly entitled. You're perfectly entitled in the Constitution of Ireland to go out for a walk or for one. You're perfectly entitled, as long as you're in two kilometres. You're entitled, you're very much entitled, nobody can stop you. Um, unless you're obviously on top of somebody and <laughs> beating the head off them. But, um, you know, you're perfectly entitled. And I say this to people, and I know a few people are afraid to go out. And I know a few people that are afraid to go out. And I keep saying to them, no, go out, go out, of course go out. And if they say anything, you know, bring them to me. Bring them to me. And I, and I talk to them. I talk to the guards and see what they have to say. Um, I bring them on a stream and I see what, I see what they have to say. Um, about somebody not allowing somebody to go for a walk or even intimidating somebody. Um, so just saying to people, don't be afraid. Simple as that, don't be afraid to go out for a walk. But, um, you know, be cautious. That's all I say. Be cautious, obviously. Don't go in huge populated areas, obviously. Um, but, you know, be cautious. I'm, I'm not saying to people don't go out. I'm saying to people go out. Your health is important. Your mental health is important and your physical health. So put that first. Um, you know, ho hopefully, please, God, there's some restrictions will be lifted. But please, you know, mind your mental health. That's the one thing that we are very worried about in, in our local county. Um, along with, I say, even Marlon County Council, too, the same. I'm very worried. Um, so please, please, if you feel upset or you feel not yourself and you want to talk, don't be afraid. Pick up the phone. Pick up to anybody. Talk to anybody. If you want to ring us, that's no bother. If you want to ring Calvin Kitty Cats, if you want to get in touch with me even, that's no bother. That's no bother. Get in touch. Of course, please do. Um, but don't be afraid to talk. That's the one thing I want everybody to remember. Don't be afraid to talk. We're here for you. We can take care of you. But the one thing you need to do for us to take care of you is to talk first and to tell us what's happening. And then we can help. And the simple that then we can help. As soon as we know what's the problem, we can help. Because that's the biggest step asking for help. And then the rest, you know, can be done very quickly. And then the rest can be helped very quickly. And everything can be helped very quickly. Once you do that small simple step, it might seem hard, but it's very easy to do. And you get when you, when you uh, get into the when you talk about it and you and you, and the person understands, it's very easy to do then. But I'm just saying to people, please do mind your mental health. And be safe out there and take care and bye.